Okay, so this is my 1991 MR2 Turbo, or original Turbo. Uh, it now has completely different engines. Got the 2GR FE out of a RAV4. Um, I got this car about a year ago. Uh, it had a Gen 3 in it. It was a full Gen 3 swap. The interior I'm stoked on. It's black. It was originally blue. And it is pristine. And it's actually a 94 black interior. It does have the original cluster though. Uh, it is 106,000 which uh, not a whole lot for a car this age, especially one that's been driven around a little bit. Uh, it's got a TRD short shifter, um, and it's kind of it for going on in here. Stock seats, they're not super ripped up. There's only one little minor thing right there. But really good shape. So the car is sitting on 17 by 8 fronts, 17 by 9 rears, um, 225, uh, 45 RE71s up front, and 255, 40, or not 75, 17s um, in the rear. Uh, it just has 93 turbo brakes, uh, which honestly, good pads on those things. They do a pretty dang good job. The car doesn't weigh a ton. Uh, I just made a little splitter slash under tray, so I was missing a bunch of that stuff up in the front. Um, came out pretty decent, and it seems to do what I was intending. It's not, you know, fully structured. Um, it's not like the stiffest thing in the world, but uh, it does work at deflecting airflow. And yeah, it's sitting on Fortune Auto 500 coilovers, uh, 6K front, 8K rear. Uh, it has a 93 plus uh, rear subframe, and all the bushings have done have been replaced with the uh, urethane bushings in the suspension. And then here is the fresh new. 2GR that I just put in. While I was at it, I kind of painted the engine bay and got it looking a little better, although naturally it's dirty because I've been driving it around. Um, it's got Frankenstein Motorworks intake. Uh, it's got his headers back there too. Uh, Wilhelm Raceworks Y pipe. And he put a catalytic converter in there for me. Uh, I'm not sure. You can see, but it's a Wilhelm Y pipe, Frankenstein headers, and a Burke exhaust, and uh, it sounds amazing. And it makes surprisingly zero noise at idle, and zero noise cruising under like low load. Once you put load on it, um, it's super loud. So pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, got the wiper, the. Uh, coolant neck up there um, just got a welded fitting um, I'm running a little catch can I race on the track a bit and uh, read a little bit that a little overfilling is not the worst thing in the world but you need a catch can for that so um, got that set up and I had Doug do the wiring so it looks factory and yeah pretty stoked Yeah, I kind of like scour YouTube a lot and curious on what people have done with uh, their MR2. So I figured I'd put something together to kind of show what I've got going on. So and this is my favorite road in the area. Um, we're in Utah and uh, I haven't been back here in a while. Um, definitely not since I did this swap. So uh, the new engine is super fun. It's got the most amazing sound and uh, it's 
definitely taken a little getting used to with the torque curve pretty much. Uh, I'm used to a little bit of lag and like kind of a smoother ramp and then it just hits all at once. And this you got to be real careful with the throttle pedal. Um, it's easy to get the tires spinning mid-corner. Um, so yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite canyons. So um, give it a whirl. My seat's a little funky, so you guys aren't staring directly here the whole time, but uh, see what I can do. But tons of turns, amazing views, amazing noises. where all the turns were. RE71Rs or BFG Rivals. Um, they're kind of the tire for autocross. They're an amazing 200 treadwear tire. Um, run those on the track just because I'm cheap and I don't want to buy any track specific tires. i um, trying to ball on a budget here, but this car is by far the most fun car I've ever owned or driven. And now it makes amazing noises. on the car are from Frankenstein Motorworks or Wilhelm um, Raceworks. Those guys have been super helpful. Um, they got everything you need for the 2GR swap over. And uh, Mike Reed, I read his blog and found some helpful little things. Uh, he also let me know that my flywheel was probably stuck to or sorry, my clutch disc was probably stuck to my flywheel, which was my main issue. I got the car together and then couldn't disengage the clutch, so that's pretty frustrating. But now everything's working pretty good. Just got to get the tack going and um, go out on a track day next week. I think uh, there's potential that I'll be out there as well as Alex, so it could be cool to get some video with... Uh, both of us in TGR MR2s out on the racetrack. Cool. Thanks for watching.